hey guys what's up so today i'm going to be doing a video on a braided wig like the one i have on my head so if you want to see how i achieve this look please continue to watch i'm using rpg show wig today and they send me a full lace yes full lace wig to do a braided wig on and this is going to be my girl brianna 004 and it's a honey golden brown straight yakky hair swiss lace 18 inch the cap size that i'm using today is a cap a and you can go glueless with this full lace cap okay so like i said before this is a honey blonde wig it's already pre-plucked it's pre-bleached and the lace even though it says full lace um it is full lace however there is a difference in the back of the lace than it is at the front so uh, obviously the front is going to be way more natural however at the back as you can see here you are able to part and it still looks natural once you're parting and you will see that when i start to do the video so the first thing you want to do is get your wig on a mannequin and stabilize it by pinning it to the um, mannequin's head so this is my absolute first time doing a braided wig i am an experienced braider so for me this is not as hard as it would be for someone that does not braid very often so i just pretend literally like i'm doing someone's head like there is no other than the products that i use i'm literally pretending like i have a client in my in front of me and i am doing their hair so i'm going to part like i would part the client's head the only thing is um as an experienced braider i know where the ears would be i know where the middle part would be i'm just very aware of how a client or just a human being's head is shaped and how to go about partying and stuff like that just from years of experience so it's easy for me to maneuver around this mannequin's head so the first thing i'm doing is knotless braids because if you saw in the beginning it was half braided half knotless in the back i have plenty of videos where i've done knotless braids i didn't really teach it but however i've made it so it's kind of clear it's somewhat on how it's done um so for this i am going to do three braids at the back which is typically what i would do for a client if they were sitting in my chair and they're getting large knotless braids it will be three braids in the back and at the first row and then the second row would be about four to five braids depending on how large the client's head is so for this mannequin however i did end up doing four braids in the second row and then i went into parting out from ear to ear uh for the top braided part of this um style so next this is where i'm going to pretend that like, i have the client or the mannequin has ears and this is exactly where if i was doing a real person's head how i would part from ear to ear to get the half braided half knotless style And I must say, like, as much as you guys might think it's super difficult to work with this texture, it is not. The key is getting all the hair that likes to fall, just making sure they are completely out of the way. Uh, and I do use a little bit of product. I use the Wax Stick by Carrick Hair, and I do take my um, hot comb and comb the hair together so that I can just kind of mold it into um where i want it to go so now i'm jumping into the braids in the front and like i said i just use minimum products i'm going to use the wax stick and then i'm going to use the hot comb and just kind of separate the hair out the way so that it's easy to work with And 
I just want to say that I really love working with this color. I just think this color is just my color. Like every time I put anything, uh, any color like this on my skin, it just gives it a different type of glow. And I just am so happy that I was able to do this wig with this color because braided wigs aren't a top favorite. However, if you are able to make them look as natural as possible especially with a wig like this which is all lace and there's no like tracks showing or anything like that it is just 10 times better um with a color like this or just overall on a wig like this The important part about doing the braided wig also is making sure that you leave out enough hair for uh, baby hair or just enough space where the client can make sure that the wig fits their head. So I'm sure that that is something that you deal with when you're making braided wig is that not every wig is going to fit the person that purchases it. So if you're doing this to learn how to sell braided wigs, that is something you would have to think about the fact that these wigs are not meant to fit everyone's head so just give it some room in the front by leaving some hair out so that whoever is wearing the wig can play with it i did put that wig on my head and i measured it out to make sure that i was leaving out enough hair um to where the wig would fit my natural hairline and just look like it's my hair or you know it didn't take too much away from my natural forehead so what i'm doing now is i'm taking uh, my ruby kisses in my color 11 and i'm going uh rubbing it on the lace on the first uh the front lace not the back lace because if you ever purchase this wig you can see that the back lace if i did put makeup on it it would not go through through the scalp because it's like a double layer so for this i'm going to take a little tiny brush and i'm going to just brush it along the parts this is going to make it look so much more natural so just take the time to just do this guys so that it does look way more natural than if you were to just put a little bit of makeup on the front so it's important to also put makeup on the back parts just wherever you see a part i'm just dabbing a little makeup on it like i really didn't do it all over but i just did enough to wear if the part is being seen i wanted it to look natural So I'm not going to glue this track down because you really don't need to. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to spray some got to be glue spray and not like a permanent glue type deal. I'm just going to spray some got to be glue along the hairline of um, between the what I left for baby hair and where the braid started. And I'm going to mold that down with the elastic band method so that is going to allow the wig to stick to my head i've already done the cap and um braid method that on my own hair so now i'm going to cut the lace around my ear and as you can see um all i did was snuck it sneak it behind my ear like that and honestly guys i cannot do this i'm too far away from my mirror and it's i don't want to cut myself so i'm just gonna cut that off camera and which i did that so i went ahead and cut the rest of the lace off camera because i didn't want to cut myself cut my face or anything like that um then i'm going in now and i'm just cutting my baby hair out i'm gonna swoop 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 those and then we're gonna be done like it was super easy much easier than i thought this was really my first time ever doing this and i was so excited to do it especially on this color again i'm using rpg show wig and this is the brianna 004 it's a honey blonde wig yeah and it's fully lace with swiss lace uh swiss hd lace so it melts super easily it melts so naturally it already is bleached it's already plucked and it's great for braided wigs 